of their creepy crawly and invading your backyard, and it's just going to get worse in the next couple of weeks. Cicada season has started the noisy bugs coming out of hibernation, and the CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez shows us this invasion will be the worst in 17 years. They're back and crawling out of the ground near you. Cicadas, brood two cicadas to be exact, popping up all over Staten Island on trees, power poles, and mailboxes. They're creeped out. <laughs> <laughs> These periodical bugs, considered the longest living insects, have been maturing underground for 17 years, seven years older than Will Gonzalez, who found the cicadas creeping out of his backyard. I was just playing here and... I lifted up the mat and then I saw a bunch of holes and then I looked into one and I saw a little tiny like orange thing with little red eyes and then my mom told me that it was a cicada. The Gonzalez family was stunned when they uncovered massive cicada colonies on their property on Wilson Avenue. It's a site that left little Xavier Gonzalez. I'm kind of ghost out. There are literally dozens of cicadas all over this tree alone and while that may seem like a lot, they actually won't reach their peak numbers for another week or two, which means millions of these bugs will soon earn their wings and fill the air with their trademark mating call. Okay. That thought gives nine-year-old Sophia Campancha nightmares. I kept imagining that there were cicadas all over me, and in my mouth, because I saw them, I kept imagining them. The Gonzaleses aren't bugging out at all. It's a once-in-17-year experience, and, um... It's, a, it's an impressive event, so I, I, I'd say embrace it. Because once cicadas lay their eggs, their lives end, and the wait begins again. On Staten Island, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. If the cicadas are taking up residence in your neighborhood, share it with us. Log on to CBSNewYork.com and send us your pictures and your video. We'll give